Welcome Cryptopians to Total Crypto Updates, bringing you another video for real deep dives into the crypto industry. I can't promise to only speak about crypto, but I can promise everything will be overstood. Let's dive into today's very dense crypto update. The Shiba Inu ecosystem has gained popularity as a result of the success of its video game. Before the full release of Shiba Eternity, the Whale Wallet got about 1.7 trillion Shiba tokens. Meanwhile, the price of Shiba has dropped by a staggering 15.38% in that period. ETH whales, on the other hand, have amassed a total of $126,157,505 in Shiba Inu. Moving on to what Bank of America has to say about cryptocurrency. According to Jeff Basconi, Bank of America's Chief Operating Officer of Private Banking, millennials are not believing the story that an equities-based portfolio leads to above-average investment returns. Instead, the younger generation has dedicated up to 15% of their portfolios to digital assets, whilst the elder generation has devoted just 2%. We've had a very strong run in the stock market over the last decade and are now living through volatile times, Basconi said. The Federal Reserve of the United States launched a quantitative easing program. Quantitative easing is a tactic employed by central banks such as the Federal Reserve to boost economic development by acquiring assets such as government bonds and bank securities. During times of uncertainty, this purchasing binge injects more money into the economy and reduces interest rates. Cosmos Partnership is heading in a good direction. Agoric, an open-source development business working on the Cosmos Software Development Kit, SDK, is creating its own native stablecoin, IST, for the interchain network as well as supporting in the creation of five decentralized apps that will debut with the Agoric mainnet. The emphasis of Dean Tribo, CEO and creator of Agoric, is on a new Cosmos stablecoin and the dApps that will utilize it. Tribal established Agoric in 2018 with the broad goal of allowing large-scale decentralized collaboration. He and his colleagues created Agoric, a proof-of-stake chain that allows application developers to build smart contracts in a hardened version of JavaScript. JavaScript not only works in a smart contract environment with predictable execution, but it's also a framework that builds on the work of others. And it is through building on the efforts of others that you achieve exponential development of an ecosystem, and that is our goal, Tribo said. Why is a stablecoin used? Tribo believes that launching the Inter-Protocol Token, IST, an over-collateralized, cryptocurrency-backed yet decentralized stable token meant to preserve parity with the US dollar, will be critical to ensuring Agoric has a robust economy to launch its product. We found that the stable token we were developing for Agoric has all of the attributes required for the interchain, Tribo said. IST establishes the framework for a cross-chain economy by allowing firms to have prices that are equal to everyone else's prices and pay for products at the same unit of pricing, things that we take for granted in the present economy. On to the Bank of New York Mellon Corporation, BNY Mellon, plans to provide Bitcoin, BTC, and other cryptocurrency custody services. BNY Mellon CFO Emily Portney underlined earlier this year the need of mainstream financial institutions establishing precise definitions of what the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, allows before selling crypto investing services to its customers. BNY Mellon is the first major U.S. bank to protect cryptocurrency assets alongside regular investments on its platform. Earlier this year, the bank got approval from New York banking authorities to hold BTC and Ethereum ETH, for users on its platform. The 238-year-old bank is the first of the eight systemically significant U.S. institutions to store cryptocurrency and provide clients with a single custody platform for conventional and crypto assets. BNY Mellon will retain its customers' crypto keys and provide the same accounting services for crypto that it does for equities, bonds, and commodities. But as Crypto Mason would say, Not your keys, not your cryptos. I hope I said it right. OpenSea now supports Avalanche, increasing the total number of supported blockchains to 7. According to the platform's tweet, users may now exhibit, list, and trade their Avalanche-based NFTs on OpenSea. 
Chicken, Tap Tap Kaboom, The Stoics, a Castle Crash, and Open Blocks are among the new collections to reach the marketplace, with more to follow. OpenSea will also collaborate with NFT platforms built on Avalanche, such as NFTrade, Jopex, and Coleo. Avalanche's inclusion comes only a few weeks after OpenSea revealed support for the scaling networks Arbitrum and Optimism, as well as the ability to automatically index Solana NFTs. The CFTC now only has authority over derivatives and futures markets rather than the immediate spot markets that comprise the bulk of Bitcoin and Ether investment. The CFTC has been boasting its crypto enforcement action. One prominent recent example was the CFTC's action against UKDAO, which many in the crypto community saw as an assault on the concept of decentralization. The CFTC's chairman, Rostin Bernam, disagreed, calling UKDAO an extreme where it's so blatant and clear that we'd be effectively, objectively, failing to do our duty if we didn't initiate this action. I would say to everybody out there who is engaging, producing, or inventing, don't expect this to be a free pass, he concluded. Also we have a list of all the most important upcoming dates for the Ripple lawsuit in legislation which I found on Crypto Mason's Discord. I highly recommend joining his Discord for a more personal look into crypto. He makes crypto easy. As always it's been a pleasure to bring you another total crypto update. That will conclude today's update on trending news in the crypto world. Remember, the social media platforms will be up and running next week. With the last channel being deleted we must now start over. Don't forget we have a $50 giveaway for when we hit 200 subs and follow us on all social platforms. We also raised the giveaway for 1000 subs on YouTube to a $200 giveaway. Don't miss out, all you have to do is like, follow, subscribe and tag as many people as you can. We will be watching who tags who in keeping tabs on which one of those tags actually followed and subscribed. I repeat, this is not a random drawing. Anyone can compute the giveaways themselves. Good day, good night, and goodbye.